Come closer. You look like you want to get them. Knees. What do you mean? <laughs> Stop. Speaking in the Welcome to Life Lessons in Film Shorts. Where we're thinking of, of doing also just sprinkling in some shorter videos of things we've just been reflecting on and some such and whatnot. What have you. Yeah. Well, you called us here. You called the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> so we just recorded. Uh, yes. Our, uh, our, our, our lessons we, we gleaned from uh, If Beale Street Could Talk. Yeah. And then I was playing the main song. Yeah. yeah. And I was just thinking, which I, I've been thinking the whole time, right? Because I went and researched everything about um, the actors and the score afterwards and then discovered that Nicholas Brittle, I think mm. his name is, he, um, yeah, put the score together and he also put the score together for Moonlight, apparently. Yeah. And I thought that he was a black guy. So this is, I guess, where I'm like, oh, is this going to be controversial? You know, because mm -hmm. I'm, all, I'm always going, well, well, I mean, I've mentioned it a couple of times here, but outside of YouTube, I'm always going on about things like, well, how do you even know what is being black and how, what is being white, you know, right. because really there isn't any yeah. like static Well, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe how uh, he captured, cause you know, you, you were saying, and I agree with you, like uh, we both kind of assumed that the composer for If Beale Street Could Talk was a, was a black composer. Yeah. Cause it just, you know, seemed to, to, to capture the, what the characters themselves were going through, you know? Yeah. Uh, as though he had the black but, experience. But, but you maybe, know what I mean? maybe, uh, maybe the, the direction was, you know, just write universal themes, right? Like the kind of music of like... Universal. Two, well, in the sense of like, just write what, what you would feel would be two young lovers trying to make it in the world against all odds kind of thing. There you know? is that, you know? But, right, you know, yeah. and by the way, for me, this reinforces my thinking that this guy is extremely intelligent. Mm -hmm. So there's this movie, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. Mm -hmm. It turns out, you know... Maybe we should cover it. We should totally cover it. <laughs> Written by a white guy, and he covers black experiences so well. Yeah. It's scary. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, how does this... Just these little things. Like, yeah. if you're a black person and you're watching it, you know. You know stuff that we say to each other about life and and Just that the guy, dynamics of the dynamics of everyday existence yeah. as a black person that you will never really say. You can say to other black people because you know, like it's a it's a space where you can talk about these right. things and the person will understand it. Doesn't necessarily mean you're a bad person or that you have issues or whatever, but then you won't really explain it to other people right. because maybe they might get uncomfortable, even though it's not something that's a big deal. Right. But this guy covers that kind of stuff in right. um, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, and we were just incredibly just. Right. What? And so I, that's how I feel about Nicholas Brito. I'm honestly, when I was watching this, the first few seconds into yeah. the movie, I cried. I, I thought we'd have to try I like wept. 10 times to get through the movie. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The second time again, I cried. Afterwards, I'm crying out of my mind. Yeah. I'm writing poetry. Yeah. I'm reflecting on my life. This movie mm -hmm. hit me yeah. everywhere. And, and In my pores. Yeah. <laughs> You know, yeah. like yeah. Well, I, I, you know, it kind of makes me think of like uh, when for the Interstellar movie, Christopher Nolan asked Hans Zimmer. He said, "I'm not going to tell you anything about the movie, but the main theme is is kind of the relationship between the the father and the daughter, and and kind of like them needing to reconnect and like." And so Hans Zimmer had written something that was kind of related to his um, relationship with his son, right? It turned out it was like a it was a science fiction movie and all that, but and so in the and but the theme still, in my opinion, were I think. It was, beautiful music in that movie yeah but that was kind of his thing is he's like you know it, in a way it was more related because he's like well this is for kind of relationship between me and my son so son, uh, father and daughter it's similar you know can kind of still work it's not quite you know as different i guess but maybe it was that kind of thing where he's, he just gave certain directions to write you know or maybe again the guy Honestly, just tapped into just he's you know, truly just, so uh i think yeah like you're right and, and we said we mentioned this when we were talking about the longer video is that even if you're not um, you a black person who ever experienced what um, Fani and Tish experienced, you can still find relevance in that movie to your own life. So I think that anyone can watch that movie and completely understand what it was that was going through their minds, their hearts, what it must have been like. In that way, then maybe Nicholas Riddle, a person who is white, wrote this beautiful score, and I thought it was a black guy. Still, they're just... Do you know how I was saying, right? I was saying right now, because I'm like, if I never saw Bonnie Ver or Fleet Foxes 
or Bjork or um You could still assume Red Hot Chili Peppers. Red Hot Chili Peppers. I would yeah. I would know. But I got tricked by this guy. I don't know if it's uh like a intellectual intelligence or if it's like an emotional intelligence, emotional intelligence maybe or musical social, intelligence or musical intelligence you yeah. know directors like i'm going for this kind of sound yeah and and like, he, oh yeah 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 okay yeah. let's do these instruments with this combination yeah. and with from this era yeah from, you know but this guy nicholas brittle <laughs> yeah i'm incredibly very, impressed very by very you skilled. yeah very skilled yeah. yeah there is no static idea of anything yeah what a, a certain people. person can and can't do. Yeah, or, yeah exactly. Can, can't yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I was tricked. I gotta be honest. Mm-hmm. And I'm human. I'm not perfect. You know, as much as I know that there's no way of being, there's no s- static way of being black, static way of being white. I still can get tricked because I'm human. I'm mm-hmm. flawed, yeah. right? So that's all I want to say. Yeah. But <laughs> moral story. Yeah. Yeah. Come closer. You, like you want to get this? Knees. What do you mean? <laughs> Stop. Speaking in the <laughs> There isn't anything you want to say, baby. Come on. I said some stuff. But anyway, okay, fine, bye. (laughs) I get it.